So now we defined our our steps. What we need to do to to make this run, first of all, we need to create a class, a runner class. We will call it person feature runner. Okay, and here we need to provide the annotation run, run with cucumber dot class. <coughs> Sorry. Now, this is a really important part. We need to create the same folder structure as as we have in our uh, in our package. So, it will be com Wally. Udemy and finally person and then we need to remove so because if we don't do so, if we don't do so when I run my test class what he will say is no feature found at the class path com dot body dot udemy dot person so we need to create this folder structure and then we need to put all the feature files here or we can specify this using the cucumber options okay so to do simple all we need to do is to create the same hierarchy and then move our feature files inside there so now we are running our tests the first test is that okay I think I made a typo mistake yeah testing okay testing feature and here initializing typo okay okay sorry I made uh, a mistake so here as we can see I will, I will rerun the test so we can see it clearly we can see here person testing feature dot initializing a given list of persons here we can see that the, the test here passes okay so this one I will close it and here I say okay I'm expecting four persons for my list. As we can see here, the test is failing, is, fa is, is a failure, and uh, the other scenarios are not yet implemented as we can see in the icon here. So for this test, we have an assertion error, the expected three and the actual four. So I will put it back to three and now we will move on to implement the rest of the scenarios okay so now we will go to create a new person okay so here I will do I will make implementing the Implementing create new person scenario. Okay, here we will start by this. We have given the list. Of person of persons contains three persons already stored okay so here I will create my public void given the list contains three persons okay and all, all I need to do here is to call the init persons list. So like this, I will store, I I will initialize. Why why I'm calling uh, this uh, this method? Because after uh, after the end of each scenario, 
the test uh, the test class will be initialized so he will call again uh, the class okay so we don't have uh, data which are stored so then when I create a new trees okay now we will implement the when method when I create a new person with a random list public void when I create new person with random entries here what should I get I should get sorry here we are we forgot the person ID so I will just private long ID and I will create the getter and setter okay and now we are clear uh, and now here I need to add the ID to the constructor equals ID okay so we need to update our service here one two and three okay now we can move on so I create a new person with random entries okay so what I need to do is person random person equals new person okay random person dot set id let's say it's four id number four because I know I already have uh, three persons in my list and random person dot set first name random one set last name let's say random two and set age uh, okay random one let's say 34 okay now I need to call the person service dot save and I have to pass the random person already created okay now what I need to call next <coughs> here what I will do private int person uh, yeah this is the person in its size okay I need to update it here persons in its size equals person list dot size okay after saving I need I need to update my persons list okay so we, we all know uh, sorry I will create a new private method so here private void find all persons and here we will say person list equals this dot person service dot find all okay now I will call my method find all persons and then I will create a new variable I will call it persons 
size after save I will initialize to zero and then equals persons list dot size okay now if I run as as we see here right step definition run and fail now we will run and fail okay we will have Java exceptions because we have uh, we have methods which which are not implemented now the next step will be write code to make step pass the first one we need to write is the save method so I will make it return a person okay and now I need to implement this unimplemented method okay so all I need to do is I will test if person equals null what I need to do is return person okay and person list sorry dot add the given person okay and then I will return my person if it if it exists okay so I have implemented the save method now I will create the find all method it should return a list of persons and here I will implement it to the find all it should return it's simple it should return the person list okay now I will rerun my tests and see what will happen okay so here it's not implemented why because I did not yet implement this part the then part okay so here I will say then okay public void then uh, okay I will say I get the ID of the new person okay so here We have two tests. The first one is to get the ID of the new person already saved and the list contains more than three persons. So the first assertion is this one. So it will be assert dot assert equals. What I want to test is the person size after save should be for my case because I saved one person should be uh, should be equals to four okay so this is the first assertion the second one here the save method should return a person okay here I will do a private person saved person okay and saved person and then I need to assert dot assert not null the of saved person and finally I need to assert 
that also not null of save person dot get id now i will rerun my test and expect a success as we can see here this part is implemented okay now we will do the same and we will move to do so okay so here we have this one is already implemented so it will be implemented for all the scenarios because we have the same the same sentence okay the the list of persons contains three persons and already uh, three persons already stored so here if i click and go to the implementation i already implemented this part okay now we will create we will implement the bulk the bulk creation okay i will add a comment here bulk creation and they will start when Okay, so when here we need to say that we need to we will receive a parameter, so we need to precise it like so whether we use regex expressions sorry regex expressions or we we do it's a dot star so it will be any kind of of entry so it will be public void i will do some updates on the person on the person part okay so public uh, public void when I create create new person with given with given data. Okay. And here as I said we have a string first name string last name and let's say uh, okay int h okay <coughs> sorry here now what we will do uh, as I said I will do uh, some updates on the on the save method okay so what I will do is I will always uh, manually or automatically initialize the person ID okay person that set ID it should be the person list dot size plus one uh, okay sorry plus one and I will do long dot value of this dot value of person list dot size plus one <clears throat> so like this I will initialize I will automatically initialize uh, my object and I will create another constructor without the ID now here what what I will do is 
person new person equal new person okay and here new person dot set first name first name new person dot set last name last name new person dot set age could be age and then I need to call the save method person person service dot save my new person okay so this method will be executed in a loop okay so it will be we will have three executions and each time we will provide the first name last name and the age okay so after saving all the data then we need we need to check this okay and then public void uh, then I get let's say the data saved for example okay and what we need to do is to call the find all persons and then assert dot assert equals or let's say assert true that my person list dot size should be greater than three which is the initial size okay so let's check if we and okay all the steps are implemented okay I will run the test yeah as we can see here the bulk creation is launched three times okay the first time is, is with the first iteration the second one is for the second one and so on so forth okay now we still need to implement two scenarios okay so I will take this one as we did here we will add a comment update a person by ID okay so when when I update a person with ID here let's say a dot star the first name the same dot star and sorry not and not yet one for the last name and finally the H it's a dot star as uh, sorry it's just a, a comment as you saw here I provided I, I said that I'm uh, I'm expecting uh, an uh, an entry uh, with with the int type okay so cucumber he did the conversion automatically to provide us with this okay uh, so when public void when I update a person and we have a string sorry before it should be long ID string first name string 
und lasst name and int age. Okay? So, what I will do is I will create a person with this. Just like this, I will just rename it. Updated person. And I need to set the ID ID. Okay. Then I need to call person service dot update and I pass the person the updated person as parameter. Okay. Now I need to create this method, it should return a person. So it should return a, a person and then I will implement this method. Okay, so I will create a private person find person index so it's, it's not it should be an int find person index with long id okay so what i will do is return dot person size uh, person list dot stream dot filter person person dot get id dot equals or double id dot map Um, hmm. We can't use a lambda expression here. Okay, I will do it. Person in persons list. If Because here we are, are looking on turn minus one. Okay. Here for the update. First of all, if we find person is null. Let's print in person is null. Okay, then if uh, let's say person index equal find person by person dot get id here if person index equals minus one and then I will here I will say return null then I will do the same just to say uh, that I have a, I have an error uh, no person was found with ID person dot get 
ID. And then I will say, I will return null. And if I find the person, what should I do is to persist my person, okay? So I do dot set in the index, in the person index, and I will put my person, and then I will return the person, okay? So this is the update method, okay? So here I updated my person, then I will save my saved person and then I will implement I get the person updated. Oh, sorry. Uh, then public void then I get the person updated and here I need to assert not null the of saved person so let's rerun our tests and check. Okay, everything works fine. And here, as, as we can see, this is uh, here, for example, for the undefined scenarios, we can hear he's telling us that the delete a given person is not yet implemented. Okay, so now we will implement this the last part. A comment. Delete a given person. Okay. When with the ID which is a parameter for me. And public void when I delete a person with long ID, what should I do? I have person service dot delete with I only need to pass the ID as parameter and then Okay, let's pass also the size as parameter just to say or to check if everything works fine. So then public void uh, then the person is removed or deleted with int new size okay now we need to find all persons and then we say that assert assert equals person list dot size and our new size Okay, now we need to implement the delete method. Okay, 
So we will ask. Okay, come on. Yeah. Okay, so I will create my void delete with long ID. And I need to implement this. Implement method delete. Okay, so if id is null, as I said, person id is null, and then I do just return. And I say int person index equals find person by id and they give the given id here i will do the same test id if i found it if i find the id just remove with the given index person index and now we can test our feature file okay so the test did not pass Could not convert argument for step I delete a person with ID is defined. I delete okay. I delete a person with ID. Let's check here. ID. Rerun. It will work like this. Okay, so I will propose something and okay and equals to to I will just remove those parameters and then ID one no parameters here and here let's say one L and new size let's say it's equal to two okay we will rerun yeah as we can see here now we have nine scenarios nine past of nine scenarios okay so this is how we implement this is how we implement the steps of a given feature file okay and now we will uh, in the next part i will uh, we will make a conclusion to explain uh, to explain and to resume all what we what we've seen in this in this part